rescue of our allies will not will be no small undertaking, Spicy. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an Imperial Castrum would be a highly dangerous proposition. But now that Castrum Sentry houses prisoners whom the Garleans deem valuable, we may have may be confident that they have been taken eh, they have taken additional measures to ensure that the stronghold's security. If we are free, uh, if we are to free our friends, we will require an effective strategy. And if we are to formulate an effective strategy, we require intelligence. This means I'm going to have to go escort someone, aren't I? <laughs> I believe I know a man who uh, may be able to assist us in this. Lord Portlane of House Durndare. He is stationed at the Observatorium in Corthus. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. We're going to beseech him. Beseech the man. The myth, the legend. Ah, Spicy, the woman who unmasked the heretic in our midst. To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? You are an associate of Ishtola, but of course, Lord Dremont confided to me that you were a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Cool. <laughs> Castrum Sentry, what interest have you ha uh, uh, have you all in the Imperials? They hold several of our numbers, whom we intend to free. Any information you can provide would be greatly appreciated. I see. That might explain our scouts' reports. <laughs> they observe four prisoners being led into the Castrum. A Huron woman, an Elzain man, and two Lalafels, one male, one female. I don't know why this is the voice I've chosen for him, but I'm doing it. It's them. It has to be Minfilia, uh, Rianger, Papalimo, and Tataru. Hmm. If that scant morsel is of use to you, you may also be interested to hear about a more recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Corthus not long ago. Two men believed to be prisoners, a Rogadin and a Lalafell, were seen fleeing the craft. What did you say? A Rogadin and a Lalafell, Master Garland. Neither were more neither wore Imperial dress and both seemed disinclined to wait for rescue, hence our assumption that they were prisoners. Well I'll be damned, it's Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> Which I love is a Star Wars reference. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Spicy, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they've captured or killed. If uh, they're captured or killed, and if Biggs were given the choice, I fear he'd take the latter. Freeing those held in Castrum Sentry will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, it is an endeavor that will admit some slight delay. The matter of escape, by contrast, will not. I don't know what that means either. But it doesn't sound good, and it sounds mean, and I'm sorry they were mean, because that, that's rude. Shortly after the prisoners vacated the airship, our scouts observed Imperial troops setting off in pursuit. It is likely only a matter of time before they catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, you had best act now. If, as has been suggested, the Garleans took our fellow science prisoner in hopes of understanding the Echo... It seems reasonable to assume that they will not ex not be executed until such time as the study is complete. But Biggs and Wedge are not scions, nor do they have aught of the Echo. As Lord Portalane said, this may prove our only chance to rescue them. I say, we seize it. Nod. Double nod. Oh, put your teeth away. You handsome man. Your teeth are too big. <laughs> Love... Love this depiction of Sid. Except for the teeth. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, back on the ranch. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had this big baddie. Forgot about him. Final preparations are complete, my lord. There stands the culmination of five long years of painstaking work, but all our efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. Yes, at last. 
We have the power to purge the land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Eorzea the security and stability they so desperately crave, and which their spineless leaders have so palpably failed to provide. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> As you say, my lord, rest assured our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and opera until it is fully armed and operational. <laughs> Hmm. Ritahin, <laughs> you depart for Castrum Occident at midnight. You will command the Western Front from in Villebrand. The Eorzeans will attempt to interfere with our plans. You will see that they do not. <laughs> hmm, my lord. If, it, if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. <laughs> Yet, forgive my impotence, but is it proper to give command of half our forces to a... I have given you nothing, Pref Prefectus. You have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. <laughs> yes, my lord. I don't know why he came out as, like, Kermit, but he did. My quarters. One hour. Oh, my. Gross. Gross, what that implies. Gross. My purpose here is to reconnoiter Galean activity along Abalassia's spine, owing. Oh, owing. <laughs> owing to this, I have the honor of being acquainted with Ishtola. Now, the report of the Imperial Airship's emergency landing came to us by way of uh, Zemel Darkhold, situated to the west. Our man stationed at the entrance, a knight named Brissolt, may be able to tell you more, so as to expedite your mission. I shall furnish you with a letter of introduction. I pray that you will soon be reunited with your comrades. May the Fury grant you strength. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get? But it's so cold. I, I want, want to go home. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, please don't eat me. I'm not a really a succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. Oh! Spicy, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. It's been, it's been awful. The Garleans were snapping at our heels like hungry pack of wolves. I so hell's burnt on evading them, I almost ran headlong into a monster's gaping maw. Thrice! And when I finally found cover, it hit me how cold and hungry I was. Where's your friend? Biggs? He, he isn't here. He went off in a different direction to lure our pursuers away. Aw, Biggs. It's me. Have you had any success? Track down Wedge. That's wonderful news. Now what of Biggs? Uh, I see. Well, it hardly surprises me that the big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashings he gives Wedge, he's always taken care of him. I've scoured the area surrounding the Darkhold, but have nothing to show for it. At any rate, we know for a fact that Biggs headed west. With both Ida and Ishtola helping out, I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now then, I'll make way over to your position while keeping an eye out for Biggs. If memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far to your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let, a, let us meet there. Dare I hope? Was that Master Garland you spoke with? Nod. After five long years? Thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now, Spicy. Let's go to Monument Tower and wait for the Chief to arrive. Aww. Biggs and Wedge are very cute. Biggs! Can I walk through the fire? I will walk through the fire for you, Biggs. I... This is home. <laughs> Our orders are to take you back dead or alive. Which will it be, Engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tinhead? <laughs> They're bouncing in sync with each other. I love it. Ah, spicy. 
It is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to do something right now. Ida has the right of it. He will perish if we delay. With me. I mean, you could just leave it to me. He's not alone. Kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> That's a dumb idea. <sighs> My thanks. <laughs> Another m -m moment and I would have... I'm so cold. He has been too long in the cold. We must find shelter for him. Maybe the rock cave right there that we could start a fire in with all your magic? <laughs> or no, we're going to carry him through the, the snow to the tower. Ida and I shall bear him there with all haste. You know I could throw him over my shoulder, right? <laughs> Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Aw, I love reunions. Aw. <laughs> oh, he's crying. I love him. I cannot thank you enough, Spicy, and the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't mention it. We are family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it's just... It's just I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I know, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. I owe the lot of you my life. And you saved Wedge too, Spicy. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. Is it Sid? Is it Sid? It is Sid! My ma'am. Biggs, Wedge, gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Aw, uh, give him a hug. Chief, Chief, it's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive. But to finally see you in, in the flesh. Give him a hug, damn it. When Al Alf told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy snuck with an area warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. <laughs> oh no, that's sad. <laughs> it must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day, when I returned to the carnage of the Waking Sands, I noted not a miss in Horizon. Nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I conclude that the Garleans came neither by, by land nor air. Nay, they were born there by port potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asian. Carry on. <laughs> we were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay for a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an imperial stronghold, Castrum's Entry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together when Minfili and the others were taken elsewhere. That was the last we heard of them. Castrum's Entry. I don't know. <laughs> what happened next? Exposition dumps. That's what happened. Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, but was probably moons or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was bound for Garlemald. Much to our dread, we knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't likely to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. And in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Hmm. <laughs> Good lads. Good lads. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel... That will have been Biggs's handiwork like it is not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> Complete annihilation. <laughs> Sorry. Spicy, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. <laughs> I know how you can repay that debt. <laughs> There are still many questions in my mind, but 
The answers can wait. Minfilia and the others still want uh, for rescue. Nod. All right, you lot. Garland Ironworks, is, Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! <laughs> yeah. Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. Hmm. The stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Now even a fly couldn't get in with a hundred yards of the walls undetected. His voice has evolved as I've done it. If the Garleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Minfilia and the others. We must act with great stealth. Not really my strong suit. I. It has to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, <laughs> how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I've a mind to walk through the front door. The front door? Aye, we'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of Magitech armor, and impeccable timing. Do I get to wear the armor because I'm so tall? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Where are we? There's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even suspect that we savage Eorzeans would think to use their technology. Secret agent spies. Secret agent spies. <laughs> then it's settled. Nod. <laughs> Spicy just wearing her, like, casual flip-flops out <laughs> to battle. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Galmont. 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 The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry besides. I've no doubt that he'd want to be of aid. Eden and I shall go to reconnoitre Garleian activity at the Stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Spicy. Let's do this. Oh, that is so pretty back here. Sometimes I wonder, Ida. Are there ever times when you're not enthused? <laughs> if nothing, I'm nothing if not enthused, Istola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papa Limo. <laughs> Cute. Have I? I have attuned to this, I know. Yeah. Should I set this as my home point for right now? Yeah, just for now. I don't need it to be Camp Dry Bone. Looking for Galmont, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Eh, you're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry, and you need my help? <laughs> Something tells me we're not we're gonna get along just fine. Getting even with Garlemald. Is from Newsies, yep. So, you have friends at Castrum Sentry. What want for rescue? How did I know he's gonna say what want? Like I knew that like the that Stalfborn knows me too well. Ah, uh, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back at the horses. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. I mean strategy. <laughs> Rescuing folk from captivity, right delicate business. A single oversight, just one little blunder, and it all over. You can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover that they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see the swampland to your left, called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind all the morbles, and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come... <laughs> this is so hard to do, he speaks so much. 
You'll come upon some drainage pipes down, coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back to the, to the command tower. If you listen closely, you might be able to eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. You also gotta bob your head, yeah. <laughs> Once we know for certain your friends are there, I keep wanting to also use my hand. <laughs> friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going, and Godspeed. Oh, thank God there's a break. <laughs> the sound of faint, the faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. Are they talking in the bathroom? What of the captive? Does she still refuse to speak? Or she may. I don't wonder why is it that uh, Antoine is so obsessed with his been friendly woman. I say she possesses some Mr. Power or something she would go by and some more. Mr. Power, like the kind of basement is? How am I supposed to let you know? I don't really sure how Karen's going to go on the screen that took us to self. I just want to let you try to tumble your head like my head where it was, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll break it over, but I'm going to go back to the room. Sorry, they said muffled or faint. The footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. <laughs> so I figured it'd be muffled, you know? I can't do an echo effect. I don't have like a thing. Good work, Spicy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As Alf has already told you, we've plotted out a course of for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Gal Galmunt, Glalmunt <laughs> is looking into ways to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparations of my own. Minfilia and the others are counting on us, Spicy. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Cool. Oh, stretch. I hope you don't mind my joining. Seeing as we're seizing advanced weaponry, I thought it best to be on hand. <laughs> I don't mind you, Joe. Look at that side eye she was giving him. Ah, there she is. This is the place, but where is the enemy? So, over there. Send in the Reaper. Let us make an example of these insurgents. <laughs> is that what you think you're going to do? I think you're going to fail! Whoops! Sid, get out of the way! Sid, I love you to death. But let mommy handle this, okay? At last, our very own suit of Magitek armor. Maybe I should make that a sticker. <laughs> it's just me sitting at a keyboard, like, angry, like, let mommy handle this. <laughs> hmm. Not wishing to uh, look a gift chocobo in the beak, it does seem rather worse for wear, doesn't it? Biggs, Wedge, what's your honest assessment? Hmm. Kind of a piece of shit, if you ask me. I got my new toy? <laughs> well, there's the fact that she's smoking, of course, but looking past that, I'd say she was structurally sound. Hmm. I don't like the way these legs are buckled. I hate to say this, but the servo mechanisms may have been damaged. Huh? Aren't those things protected by elm-thick armor plate? They are, yes, it's odd. The casing doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well, whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not rest until it's fixed. Not one wink of sleep. You got that, Wedge? <laughs> Cart Chocobo. I heard that. <laughs> a hall has been set aside for our use in Revenant's Toll. That's where we'll carry out our repairs. Look for us there, Spicy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> that was adorable. I loved that. That was so cute. I love that it's limping. <laughs> All the animation budget used. Sid. 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 I... Here's the thing. I love you. Okay? You are a gorgeous hunk of man that I just want to carry on my back all the time. But if you pull the same shit as everyone else in this game and have me walk 10 feet to get someone else to talk to when you could have easily just called them over, I am going to step on you. And not in the fun way, okay? I am going to squish you beneath my heels. <laughs> I will go full dommy mommy on you <laughs> and not in the fun way. Do you understand me, Sid? Now be a good boy and get mommy another beer, would you? There, she's ready. Magitek armor, engage. Or not. <laughs> she just needs a loving tap, I'll wager. Smack. <laughs> ah, like all electronics, if it doesn't work, just hit it. <laughs> the only thing where violence is the answer. Yes, she's she's alive. Let's take her outside uh, and put her through her paces. Spicy, would you care to do the honors? Nod. That's right, you put some respect on my name. <laughs> Noise. I'm getting so many mounts recently. I love it. Hop into the pilot seat. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing the tangle of the crystals yonder. As far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? This way. No anomalous movement evident from either leg. Good. Next, jump back down and sprint north as quick as you can. Oh. I can't sprint, though. Leg joints observing all impact without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, Spicy. Never gonna give this up. Never gonna let you have your machine back. Never. Oh, you suck. <laughs> the torso remains stable during the vigorous motion. Excellent. And that concludes our test. Thank you for your cooperation. have earned my ire, sir. Death is better than you deserve. Here is a summary of my findings. The drive train is in sound condition. With some fine tuning, we can expect a noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism, I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The Mammoth Heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms. Whereas Magitek cores serve only to conduct impulses, Mammoth Hearts enable automata to produce or to process information collected by their sensors. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> 
Feel, get, feelings. Maybe she just doesn't like uh, feel like part of the team. In which case, we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. This is so freaking cute. Hello, my friend. I, I do. Click. Oh, she like, <laughs> she was shaking with happiness. Duty calls. I do. She's so cute. Oh, I love that. That's, that's, that's really cute, actually. <laughs> daft as it, daft as it felt, I gave it my best. I've welcomed myself to a bloody standstill. What were you expecting it to do anyway? Bob as a, as a curtsy? She does have a little robot heart. That's so cute. <laughs> Don't do that. No doubt you're wondering why the servo mechanism... <laughs> no, that's not Sid. No doubt you're wondering why the servo mechanism is so important to our warrant, uh, to warrant this silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an onerous task at the best of times, and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of the worn Magitech core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with Garlean technology. That's not true. Wedge, are there no other ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't seem convinced. We sh could try a little dance, perhaps, or cheer our heads off. <laughs> Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it, they have us cornered. Just the way I like it. There's the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> just zoomed into Spicy's chest because she's too tall. <laughs> Taken by the traitor Garland. And is that the Acon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. Call for reinforcements. No. Good time is it? To hell's with you. Jamming crystal activated. We've located the stolen reaper. Requesting immediate assistance. Respond. Respond. <coughs> it's not real, sir. There's some sort of interference. <laughs> Curse you, Garland. No matter if we can't, if we can't, if we can't reclaim it, destroy it. You will not destroy my baby. That looked like a Kingdom Hearts. Bloody hell, spicy, protect the armor at all costs. Nod. <laughs> Not my baby! Daddy? Not daddy, uncle? Little uncle? <gasps> Mommy! I love Spice. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm about to become a parent again. <laughs> Chief, look, she moved. Ah, now she deigns to grace us with her presence. I think I found a new voice for Wedge, actually. It took us a good while, but we're finally ready. <laughs> That's true. It's time to infiltrate Castrum Sentry and rescue our comrades. Why did I have trouble? Why did I have trouble pausing? There, she's finished the finishing touch. <laughs> Did you paint a little aw? Aw. That's cute. Tagging her. <laughs> aw, she's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love that. Do I have any coffee left? Mm. Just a sip. I want more, though. Mm. 
The servo mechanism is now fully functional, and all it took was a simple fight to the death. Remind me not to install a mammoth heart aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I would rather not be required to profess it before boarding. But enough of that. Let us see our, to our final preparations. Thanks to Biggs and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. We're as prepared as we're likely to get. Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum Sentry lies just beyond. A short while ago, an Imperial patrol left to do its rounds. Alphanod and I will create a diversion out here to keep them occupied for as long as we're able. Meanwhile, the three of you will enter the stronghold, posing as the patrol returning from duty. Should Alphanod and I prove less distracting than hoped, I will contact you via Link Pearl. Be ready to beat a hasty retreat. Nod. Bigs and wet. Whoop! I love it. It's just as cute the second time around. Love that so much. Wedge will lead the way in the Reaper. Stay close to him. And I hardly need to tell you this, but do, don't do anything suspicious. Oh, unless you wonder. <laughs> wonder. Oh, I'm sure. I am so sure. Ida and Ishtola left shortly before you arrived. We have planned that they should linger in the vicinity to cover our retreat in the event that Alf and I attracted too much attention, but the approach of an Imperial vehicle forced us to improvise. Don't be too disappointed. They did at least leave a message for you. Something along the lines of, don't do anything reckless, if memory serves. Wise words. Yeah, right. Ishtola looked him in the eye and said, tell Spicy not to fuck it up. <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> All right. The Imperial Patrol should be returning any moment now. You'd best be off. Good luck, Spicy. May the Twelve help you. Oh, I gotta give the salute. Oh, I did it automatically. I'm still wearing the stupid shoes. <laughs> They're like, those aren't regulation. <laughs> oh. All you hear is darkness. Oh. oh. You have spirit. That I will allow. Mm. Yet you struggle to the benefit of none. Least of all, yourself. Cat fight. <laughs> Stupid. Oh no. This echo of yours intrigues us. We desire only to understand it. And for that, we need your help. Understand is not the word I would use. You wish to be rid of the icons, do you not? You would have saved yourself a great deal of torment had you accepted our aid from the beginning. Yeah, I I always get the 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 um impression that Minfilia has been kind of like like she's really strong but she's kind of been forced to the side for plot reasons a lot. Uh, Ow. Uh, Ooh. Uh, uh, um tell me everything. And I shall end it quickly. Refuse, and though you beg for death, oh yeah, you shall not have it. Which will it be? <laughs> How about spicy moons? Wish, foot up your my butt, dear, <laughs> Minfilia. Unpleasant though it will be for all concerned, you leave us no she, choice. She but looks to really cool more though. Rigorous methods of study. Like her armor Be looks so really cool. kind as to deliver the prisoners to Castrum Meridianum. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lady. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Was she giving birth? <laughs> I I don't know that I necessarily agree with the direction on. Minfilia's voice acting there. Wedge, stop jumping around like an idiot. You're gonna give us away. Biggs! Dude, stop it! <laughs> they could not be sneaky if they tried. My gosh. 
<laughs> Guys, we got in. <laughs> Let me shout our presence. No. Manvilia and the rest, thank goodness they're safe. I'm the one you want. Leave the others to be. If you hum, my friends, I swear I shall take... Oh, and you shall answer to your mistress. <laughs> Who do I care? <laughs> they left Papa Limo with his weapon. Smart. Tataru. She knows. We, m we must do something. Oh, does Wedge like Tataru? We risk letting the entire cast. We risk letting the entire cast from nowhere here. Nod. No, oh. ah, you're right. We may not get a better chance. This is the third squadron. What is it? A Reaper seized win. And this came to light only now. The culprits will have left a trail. Take as many men as you need and scour the area. I want that reaper found. Bah! Now's our chance. And I've gone for the head. Think. <laughs> what the? Strike my last. <laughs> well, look at my... <laughs> Eliminate the intruders. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, well. Oops. <laughs> Spicy, I was so scared. Aww. Oh. It was foolish of you to come here. You might have been killed. Thank you. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not arrived when you did. I say, did you not see Thancred anywhere? I am beginning to fear for the fellow. Nope. Hmm. To linger here shall yield us no answers. Let us away ere the window to our liberty closes shut. Nod. What do you say? Escaped? Not by my very sharp elbows. Then recapture them, then. Fail, and I shall have your head with my very sharp elbows. <laughs> and what have we here? Ishtola! The Tribunus herself, just as you said. You have the eye of an Araman, Ida. Well, she's kind of hard to miss if in that showy armor of hers. <laughs> Accursed scions, how did you slip our defenses? With unexpected ease, if truth be told, there chanced to be a commotion outside the cast room's walls which allowed us to avail ourselves of the comforts of your vehicle. Ishtol is just being polite. That was one of our most uncomfortable things I've ever stood away in. It's no wonder it's called the Phantom Train. No passenger would be seen dead on it. So, you scuttled in amidst the freight, like vermin you are. I shall be sure to have words with our rat catchers. Such negligence is unforgivable. That is far from your most pressing concern. First, you must answer for your own wrongdoing. Livia sas junis. Junis? <laughs> My twig! <laughs> "'Twas you who led the raid on the Waking Sands. "'You who butchered unarmed men and women "'for the crime of being unworthy of capture. "'You killed our friends. "'We'll never forgive you. "'Nor shall we suffer you to plague Eorzea a day longer, "'but take you to your guard. "'You... <laughs> um, no? <laughs> "'Protect the Tribunus!' "'Confounded Ida with me!' Are those leaves from the lettuce, baby? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, sh... Hmm. 
<laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. After them! Why stop to salute? <laughs> Where is his excellency? In the hangar, milady. In discussion with our guest. Alert him at once! Yes, milady. No, 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 no! I've let my hubby down! There they are, fan out and surround them! Oh, Must protect Dotaru. Biggs, I'm going in. See everyone to safety. Oh, he better not die. He better not. No, Wedge, don't do it! He better not die. Oh no, spicy. Hold him off. I'll let's look after Minfili and Tataru. They can fight. Oh, that's that's kind of fun. That looked like a classic party, like, you know. Like a classic uh Final Fantasy party. Kicking some bullet. Are they going to jump off the cliff? Oh no. Take the leader, kill the rest. Oh, snap. What the <laughs> The Astola. Pray forgive us our delay. <laughs> She is. Oh, yeah. That's so nice to see Ida getting to the chance to beat the crap out of people. Papalino, Minfilia. And and use her monk skills too. Ida. What took you so long? <laughs> well, it's nice to see you too. What took you so long? Union must wait. <laughs> right. First things first. I'm the realist. Yes. Let's get back to being heavily outnumbered. <laughs> oh, Papa Limo. <laughs> Wedge! <laughs> you ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. Oh. He's Irish. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. And he's English. <laughs> Not the voices I gave them, but okay. He's Scottish and later... Maggie! <gasps> Coming to our aid. Mommy. But there's no one in there. <laughs> This is Sid. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> I need you to count to five, then jump. Understood? You got it. One. Two. You better three, not leave Maggie behind. Four. I know, right? <laughs> Just a nod for five. What about Maggie? Don't leave Maggie. What about Maggie? No, they left Maggie. I know not which is more pitiful. The charlatans who rule Eorzea. I don't like that they left her, though. Or the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. Heard our rule. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power. 
the power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people who will suffer. Embrace reason. Gaius, just let the fart out, dude. He sounds like he's so, like, <laughs> you know? Like he's just got tummy pains from it. <laughs> Ooh, the Enterprise. What in the seven hells? Put your teeth away, baby. <laughs> no. Oh no. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient Alag, excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo. The Alagans used it to crush primal and foe alike. And now the Galleons mean to do the same. Her voice acting is so rough. Damn also, you, Gaius. Also, they sound like they put her like right here on the mic, you know? Look! There! Okay, good. The Black Wolf! An Assian. An ass. <laughs> An overlord, no less. His garb attests to that. Mm, La Habrea. Okay. It could only be him. Mm. Oh, big face reveal. <gasps> Thankred. You sassy bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was La Habrea? No. No, this cannot be. What? <laughs> we have to go now. Hang on. That's how they knew. Sacred. No. <laughs> the action. <laughs> Go for the Oscar. <laughs> You're kidding. Ah, uh, okay. He had been All absent time, for quite some time. It makes sense. Me. And I never even suspected. Hmm. Nobody did, so, you know. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. <sighs> How could I have been so blind? No. Don't take it out on the Enterprise. Small wonder the enemy knew our every move and where to find us. <sighs> Confound it all. <sighs> no. No, this is not the time for self-doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. Hmm. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not <laughs> inevitable. Thank you, Gray. Cryo? This is Minfilia. The situation I'm may have taken an ill turn. So forgive me if I seem brusque. <laughs> but the battle is far from over. Why is she so talking in the background? Together, Wonderful. There shall ever be hope of victory. Need it urgently. How soon can it be delivered? Why is she talking over him? Your debt, my friend. The people of Eorzea falter for want of such hope. Let us provide it. Let us bear to them the tidings yeah, I know, that right? the scions of the seventh dawn are returned. Nod. Nod. Matters are coming to a head. I hope we can count on you. Don't look at me. No, I'm out. <laughs> My regards to grandfather. To grandfather? <laughs> I am ready. Let Why us are pay you a blue? visit to the Council of the Alliance leadership. Why is she blue all of a sudden? Like everyone else was lit so well. Why was she still like so cool toned? Why did she have the shadow on her, you know? <laughs> I don't I don't care. Hells take the black wolf and his new toy. Do the job for us, exactly. 
Oh yeah. Oh wait, all th all the people from Thanlin are southern in my in my canon. Rally all available forces. I want them ready to move upon my word. I guess technically she would be British. And relay to Salfrosson the order to sail. That is all. <laughs> the maelstrom stands by. What of the flames? The Welsh names. To sail, yeah. Ready as we'll, we're like to be. I only need to give the word to Rayoli. Royal? Has there been word from Ishgard? None. The dragons have got their tongues. Silent to the last. I, I was unwise to hope for better. What would stir the Archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims the fury of his gods. Tis bad comedy. <laughs> the Sultana. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without his cooperation. He's been compromised. <laughs> oh, she's southern. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I keep forgetting everyone from Thanalina is southern. I believe we are all acquainted with the terms of the Black Wolf's ultimatum. <laughs> we must agree upon a course of action, not less than the fate of Eorzea hangs upon the decision of the Council. Van Belsker claims to wield the power to smite primals. Should we yield to him, he pledges to rid the realm of its false gods, yet offer resistance, and he swears that we shall share the primal's fate. Pardon my, me my bluntness, but I like not these choices. This is too great a decision for any one of our nations to make alone. <laughs> Choose... Choose we surrender or resistance, we must answer as one. For if but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do the right by all our peoples. <laughs> I can't stop making myself giggle when I do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm putting on my better gear. <laughs> Tancred's plight troubles us all, yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the Ultima weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. Let us go to the Alliance leader, Spicy, and help uh, help them to make the right decision. Grim tidings, Spicy. It seems the word of the Ultima weapon's existence has already reached the Alliance leaders. In the form of an ultimatum. They gather they've gathered in the fragrant chamber, because it smells so bad, and are deliberating their answer even as we speak. Beleaguered as they are, I fear they may well elect to lay down their arms in the belief that surrender will spare their people untold suffering, yet nothing could be further from the truth. That which the black wolf offers will do Maorzia, not deliver it. And the leaders must be made aware of this. Let us hurry to them, Spicy, and ensure that they do not act in ignorance of the consequences. Yeah, make sure they're not stupid. Ah, we keep treading the same ground. Mm. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight, but if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... It has been five years since the Calamity, 
and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Yeah, conflict, but... Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Mm. Fair point, but... Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost, only for them to rise again and again. You have a good nose. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? There she is. <laughs> I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. Hmm. By the twelve. Though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. They can't see your face, dude. Not You're... that I deny there is truth in what you say. Nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Yeah, let me handle it. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the remembrance service, made all manner of lofty promises. That's true. I've made good on not a bloody one. Don't worry, big boy. We Do got you. Do not blame yourself, Raubon. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Spicy's like waiting, like till they're like at their lowest point. She's behind the door, just like, hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Get, get, get the music ready. Get the music ready. Get ready. Get ready. What do you mean you forgot the song? <laughs> Hi, the other moon cry. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? Listen to the Lalafell. While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to murder. End them. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well being has ever been our foremost priority. Mm, that and money. <laughs> While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough. To solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The scions of the seventh dawn. Scions Alas, of the seventh gone, dawn. <laughs> and the black wolf is at our door. No, okay, okay. Forget the song. Forget the song. Just hit random. Just I hit roll. random. I fear you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I cut him off. Alphinord? Minfilia? And seven hells, Master Garland? <laughs> the, the what, the what, and the what now? <laughs> Don't forget to say Spicy's name. And you, dear friend. Oh, damn it. <laughs> of course. Nod. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. <laughs> I know. They do a good job. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting the Gallians' offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Seven hells. <laughs> folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Mm -hmm. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Garlean's proposed solution. 
The true answer lies in a lasting peace. But the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. So we are set not spicy blind loose. to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. <laughs> Come what yep. may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so never I give bid up. you stand with us. Never surrender. And together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. Nod. <laughs> I love spicy. Just a great man in. once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? Sid, I. Oh. Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How <laughs> could I contemplate surrender? I feel stupid. <laughs> I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. Girl, it's okay. I get it. You didn't know you had spicy at your back. <laughs> we Gridanians have no love for war. Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear, and this shall never change. <laughs> She's like, oh. Gridania will go to war. And so we the will fight the Empire for the sake of the realm and all who abide here. <laughs> Sorry, I literally just wanted to. Be, and so the Ents will go to war. <laughs> I'm gonna murder people. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> well, Bon, are we to be all done? I lost one homeland. The thought of losing another had blunted my resolve. <laughs> I want more blood. <laughs> but no man knows better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. There it Will is. Old dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? <laughs> and great money. I lost count. <laughs> Reckless, the lot of you. Like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. On account of being a pirate myself. <laughs> and the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Except we are the pirates that don't do anything. Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down. Or go down with all hands. <laughs> Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. Hell yeah. <laughs> if our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. <laughs> we only have a navy. <laughs> for Eorzea! <laughs> we'll be off on the coastline. Just bring the battle to us, you know? <laughs> they, they just send back a pile of ashes. 
Like to... We must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy <laughs> at... Be at ease, my <laughs> friends. <laughs> you <laughs> have <laughs> banished <laughs> our <laughs> doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon. <laughs> and on and on and on. <laughs> I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. <laughs> Top, bottom, whatever you need. <laughs> we haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Hmm. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. He was possessed! <laughs> that they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. Couldn't have come up with a better name? One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. <sighs> I kind of wish they would just let him have been a bad guy. You know? Just let him be a bad guy. This is a crystal of darkness. Hmm. Seems a benign thing. Oh, eats her hand. <laughs> a mere replica. Created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. Hmm. Sorry. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. But Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Louis Soir. It was plain that he was overtaxing himself. But wait, we... Alahabrea was around before they sent him to investigate. So was he possessed beforehand? Or was that someone else? Or... Yeah. He would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. Hmm. He worked till he was dizzy. <laughs> and the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable ah, to Asian influence. That makes influence. sense. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. His ass possessor would be. <laughs> you have proven the I am a child. Allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. Yep. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Why do you keep asking heart. me? <laughs> right? <laughs> As I am sure you are aware... The realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. Yo. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain... comparisons. <laughs> nice. I must confess, you do remind me of them. You're so tall. Yet remember this. However glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, oh, and learned. the people cry out <laughs> for a savior. I believe that you are she, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. <laughs> you are a warrior of light. The rest of you are here. Let's all go. 
<laughs> but yeah, a Final Fantasy fourteen tattoo would be pretty cool. I don't know what I would want to do uh, yet, but I'd have to think about it. Like, what, But I haven't played all of the game yet, so, you know. All present? Then let us begin. Oh, I said lettuce. I'm sad now. It was in this room. <laughs> we have we have received the details of the impending operation. In what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history, the alliance will strike at every imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. Damn. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit uh, its inter intricacies to memory. It is enough to each man understand his part and plays it to the best of his ability. Person. Alf. Person. Each person. The finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. Oh, we're going to play Risk! <laughs> From west to east, the Maelstrom and Limsa Liminsa, uh, the Immortal... The Flames of Ulda and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania. Next, let us examine the locations of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limsa Lominsa, we have Castrum Ossidens, situated in the eastern Villebrand, and Castrum Marinium, which lies to the south and east in the midst of Rotano Sea. Near Ulda, we have the Castrum Meridianum. To the north, the coastal outpost of Cape Westwind, which connects the Castrum Marinum to the mainland by means of Magitech Transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Oriens, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelveswood. And finally, in Mordona stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation will see allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon housed within Castrum Meridianum. As one might expect of the Black Wolf's seat of power, Castrum Meridianum boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from the sister strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught twixt hammer and anvil. The operation will comprise of four distinct phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Ritalin Sasarvina. <laughs> Ritalin uh, Sasarvina. According to our intelligence, the Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial outpost at Cape Winst Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer and an adventure unit to eliminate him. Spicy, we would have you lead this assault. I'm gonna get to kill Kermit the Frog! <laughs> Rattan is peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Castor Mossadens will be a snake without its head. Who could it be indeed? <laughs> Phase 2 will see uh, a sever Castrum Meridianum's primary lines of supply. You're going to go to Limsa. As soon as Rattan's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Ossidens. Makes sense. At the very hour, the Lamincin Armada, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade the Castrum Meridianum. Meanwhile, in the Twelves Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castramorians. And they'll, they'll have the Sylphs to help them. Frixio's been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Aww! Ye, yeah, the lettuce babies are going to war. <laughs> it does not help the end comparison. It really doesn't. <laughs> And so Gridania went to war. <laughs> Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castor Meridian's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventure unit shall infiltrate the Castrum. 
its mission to disable the Magitek field generator, which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the Ultima weapon is believed to be housed. Spicy, we would have you take command once more. So I'm going to go kill Kermit, and then I'm going to go blow up the, the shields, just like on the Death Star. Got it! <laughs> Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects the Sentry uh, and Meridian, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. Nice. A wise precaution, the monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two castra is capacious enough to transport a small army by all accounts. It is well the Garleans do not think, it give, think to give it wings. <laughs> yeah, don't let it fly. Once Meridianum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. <laughs> Spicy gets to bring down the hammer. <laughs> this will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison. Allowing Spicy's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima weapon. Turns out this cutscene was the entire battle. We don't get to play it at all. We just get to skip forward. <laughs> By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. I love that they played the victory music. That was cute. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties. From the pirates of Limsilaminsa to the uh, Monetaris of Ulda. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Ooh. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords and more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. I am getting chills. It's good stuff. As before, we Scion shall work in concert with the grand companies, Ida, Papalimo, Ishtola, Pray accompany our respective organizations on their missions. <laughs> you got it. Orang I can never pronounce this person's name, I'm sorry. Oranger, I would have you represent us in Ulda, reassuring uh, reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return here and aid the coordination of our forces. Tataru, please assist Oranger. <laughs> in any way you are able, and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Rianger. 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 No, Tatu. <laughs> Thumbs up. Minfilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the, most, uh, the main host in advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes in our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As for Alphanod, as Alphanod mentioned, you are to lead an elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to search out, uh, to see each of uh, to see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and likely to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well and stint not in your preparation. Nod. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together. Let us show the Black Wolf the power of a united Eorzea. Next time on... No, kidding. <laughs> Pray report to the Immortal Flames encampment situated in the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Nod. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Not for violence, but in, just in general. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It would appear we have an unexpected guest. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the woman who felled the mighty titan. <laughs> Probably. This is the Acon Slayer. Icon Slayer? Acon? Icon? I see. The commotion without is not but a diversion. <laughs> Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Ocidens. 
a bold strategy, to be sure. <laughs> it's not it's not Kermit anymore. Hmm. But have you the strength to see it to fruition? <laughs> Leave us. None of you are a match for her. Send word to Castromosidens. Tell them the Lominsons are coming. They really do. At once, my lord. I mean, I get it. Like, the idea of them pronouncing it different from different regions would make sense. But, um, like, when two people from two characters from the who are supposed to be from the same region say it differently like that's that's the rough part 15 years have come and gone since lord van belsar first set foot in eorzea yet his ambition for the realm burns as strong as it ever did know you what fuels it adventurer the desire to deliver the people from their suffering the lands he has conquered were all, were all beset with problems poverty starvation lawlessness and strife my homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the Empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. <laughs> hmm. It's not easy being green, but under this sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability. Hmm. As we had no never known. <laughs> now he's Canadian? <laughs> and only the desires of self the same for the people of the realm. Under his rule, Aarzia will be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. Oh, when, when Gaius comes back? <laughs> there would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses. No icons to bleed them their realm dry. True peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of per persecution or oppression. I mean, everything you're sounding sounds great, but he's an ass, so he wouldn't do it the right way. Should you doubt the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Garlemald, yet Lord Van Bilser saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. <laughs> Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the field of battle. He has given me noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. Are any future villain infants? Oh, I just realized that he has, like, revolver edges on his, his shields. I am not one to bear my steel needlessly. But if you are deaf to reason. Yeah. I pretty much have cotton in my ears, big boy. In the name of Lord Van Belsar, I, Rittaten San Aravina, do swear to strike you down. <laughs> that light, the Magitech transporter. Spicy, are you there? What news of Rittaten? Fallen? With this deed, you have sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. What kind of reaction is that, Minfilia? The fading of the light presages, uh, presages an end of the Empire's tyranny. Presages, sorry. Tatansas Arvina is no more. Let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Hurrah! Yeah, you guys did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Tis I. It seems you've done it again, Spicy. I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we've no time to savor the victory. There's still a small matter of infiltrating Castor Murianum and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know. No rest for the uh, preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue your orders. I'll be waiting for you with the, the main host. Okay. Look, Heidelin, your minion comes, bringing the light. Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true god. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to get through this tonight. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to stop. I should probably get a snack. You're right, but the perfectus. The perfect. Wait, what, what voice did I do for him? The perfectus, Sling. 
Regret- regrettably so, my lord. And at the hand of the Icon Slayer, if the centurion who survived the attack is to be believed. Uh, Ritatin. <laughs> Where were his men when he faced the enemy, fleeing even as their commander yielded up until his last breath? It should prove they questioned his right. I, I cannot speak for them, my lord. <clears throat> Beg pardons, my lord, but there's more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to the Castrum Ossidens. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castrum Marinum. He did, yes, but they don't know that. Kill him. And then they ended up coming to his aid anyway. So, this is their answer. Very well. We shall crush them as we crush their icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Yes, my lord. <laughs> F you, garlic bread. Ooh, garlic bread sounds delicious, actually. Oh, I was going to make bread today. I forgot. Oh, well. I'm glad I got some.